Hi, I'm Joshua Sun, and I'm here with Mr. Brendan Moolah and Dr. Richard Baldwin, here from the Center of Inquiry. Can you guys tell us a little bit about what you guys do over there? Basically, we are a club that promotes freedom of inquiry, um, skeptical thinking, and uh, the promotion of science and reason in the, in the community. Uh, over stuff like the French sciences and pseudosciences. Yeah. Correct. Uh, anything to add to that, Doctor? Yeah, we do this in a number of ways. We have a number of activities for students. Uh, one is we, every semester, we buy some books that we stick mm -hmm. in the library. We, we, as a club, we pick one that we think would further science mm -hmm. or further free inquiry or further uh, reason in general. And we'll read it. And maybe it's just a book about, you know, astronomy or something yeah. or, or whatever. Uh, and then, like this semester, we chose Lone Frank's mm -hmm. book because we went as a group to Tallahassee and heard yeah. her lecture. We said, ooh, let's get her book. So we put them in the library, in the library right now, and they're, anyone can check them out. Mm -hmm. They're in our section. We have a, a CFI section Special in the reserve, section. reserve section. But anybody in the community can check them out. It's a service we do for all Gulf Coast students and the community. You can check them out. And we, in this semester, we chose three dates, and we're going to talk about a third of that book at each one. Mm -hmm. But it's not just boring discussion. For one yeah. thing, these kids are smart and they they like to discuss things like, hers is basically about neuroscience and mm -hmm. what what's what's the state of neuroscience to yeah. the inquiry right now. And then we'll ha do something fun after that, like uh, go swimming or we'll watch a DVD, whatever they feel like doing at, in conjunction with that. Oh, so this is more than for philosophy majors. This is for science, social sciences, and for art. anyone. I mean, we have a wide range of people in the club. We've got Wiccans, we've got uh, uh, Catholics, uh, agnostics, all sorts of people are in here, but they have one thing in common, and that's they believe in science and reason. And, uh, you know, they're not too big on pseudoscience. Yeah, you know, or the fringe science. Telepathy or, you know. You, know, <laughs> you try to explain that yeah, with or reason. Or the Loch Ness Monster or things like that. <laughs> yeah. So they basically, basically believe in science. But, and so it gives them a, a place to share their ideas with others and learn more things mm -hmm. by discussion and reading books and, and promoting uh, things on campus, like bringing authors here. Uh -huh. So tell me a little bit about the authors you guys have brought here in the past. I remember somebody came here last year to discuss something about religion, right? Yes, we had uh, Dr. Eller come down from Colorado and give a, lec a lecture on um, religious violence and mm -hmm. uh, where it stems from and things of that nature. It was really interesting. We had um, pretty much the entire Sarsen Hall packed. Yeah, we packed oh, yeah. it all. And the thing was that his we, we chose his book because he's saying, you know, some atheists really down religion. It's just bad. It's violent. He didn't say that. He was talking about violence in general. It's not yeah. just generated by religion, but there are other things in a culture that cause that. So I think it gave us some uh, ideas that maybe not all Muslims are, <laughs> are evil yeah. or something. It, it allowed students to see a broader picture of what's causing the violence in the world. So that's the sort of thing that we're interested in. Okay. So discussions yeah. rather than debates. Yeah. In fact, yeah. we've neglected the debating thing. You know, we yeah. want people that have expertise, we want to bring them in and the students uh, you know, let them lecture and then let students have a chance to ask them questions. So that it's always open to questions, but we're not really into debate. I mean, that's like yeah. tricks and stuff, but we're just out for the truth. What, what, can, what can we learn from these experts that we bring in? Ah, the truth is out there. <clears throat> so, can you tell me a little bit about the other events you guys do here besides bringing the lecturers and the books? Like, Well, in the past, we've actually got to go up to um, FSU to go mm -hmm. to um, lectures they had over there. Um, as Dr. Baldwin said, uh, Last year we went to go see Dr. Frank give a lecture on neurobiology, and um, the year before that we went up and uh, got to hear the paleoanthropologist Dr. Richard Leakey um, give a pretty interesting lecture up there as well. Ah. Yeah, so people that we, we couldn't have here, we just go there, wherever yeah. we are. Yeah. And Concord, you know, like that way it's cheaper and it's yeah. with other people you know. And then we'll have some fun too. Yeah. We'll go out to eat and we'll stop by at DCBY <laughs> on our way back. And just, they have a lot of fun in the car too, both going there and coming back, talking about the experience. and. and yeah, they, they're having a lot of fun. Sounds like a fun, interactive environment for students. Yeah, and we also have Halloween parties, Christmas parties, you know, that, that we're, there's not any serious purpose other than having some serious fun. So, exactly. seriousness, but also with the side of fun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for yeah. Gulf Coast students yeah. and for community. I hear you guys do community events and allow people from the community into your club, too. Yeah, well, what, what we, we, yeah, we do. Uh, any of our events, we op open to anybody that has the same interest we do, but we also... Uh, uh, attempt to serve the community in different ways. Mm -hmm. Like we'll pick some charity, whether it's uh, collecting books to give to the poor or, or whether it's um, uh, going to the mission and serving dinner or something like that. Mm -hmm. And right now we're looking at um, 
mentoring some uh, students. Uh, uh, so we're looking at that. We haven't chosen exactly what we're going to do this year, but we're, we're looking right now. Looking right now. And probably going to decide within the next week or two how we want to serve the community this, this uh, year. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds very big and very open for students. So one of you guys' meetings, that way they can, can help you guys discuss all these ideas and all these events that you guys are doing. Our meetings are the first and third Thursday of every month at 12.30 and uh, the social science uh, conference room. Oh, okay. And uh, what about contact information? Let's say they can't make it to that meeting, but they still want to learn more about you guys' organization. All our information is on our Facebook page, uh, the GCSE CFI, and on the college website as well. Okay. Yeah, the easy way to get to it is just go to the college website, mm -hmm. get in the middle column of current students, click on student organizations, and then it'll be in that list right there. Just click on that, and it'll take you to our website. So it's very easy to find. Oh, okay. Easy for students, and yeah. sounds like a very nice club that I'm sure many students would be interested in. I know I am. So, well, thank you, Dr. Richard Baldwin. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brendan Moore. Thank you. And from GCY, with the Center for Inquiry, we're out. So, yeah. So what do you guys think?